Hello everybody, Marigold here. And today I'm just doing a quick little short on how to determine whether your beats are correct in pseudo write. If you are in Story Engine or if you are using Story Bible, the way to check your beats is still the same. So let's take a look. Here I have my beats. This area here that I'm highlighting, all of this right here is actually my header. Those are my instructions to the LLM telling it exactly what it is that I'm looking to have done. One of the things that I do want to point out is that this section, as I stated, that's highlighted, that is my instruction to the LLM. Everything here and below that I just highlighted, starting with Amelia, a budding pianist and singer, everything from that point down, those are my beats. Now, if I don't number my beats or indicate where my beats begin with a number one, let me show you what happens. If I scroll down and I find the check beats right underneath the actual card itself, click that. And do you notice how when I did that, it says beats. So it is listing all of my header as my beats, starting with my instruction to write this body of work in first person, all the way down to my characters, Amelia. So if I continue to scroll down, can you see how now I have 26 beats? I'm going to hide this and with the new story Bible, notice how it says that I have an estimation of 5,200 words. Well, I need to fix this because if I were to generate this, all of my header information here, all of that would be counted as part of my beat. So if you have a really long header, this could get into the hundreds if you're not careful. So let me show you how to correct that. The simplest way to correct that is just to come in front of your beat and type one. Make sure that if you are up here where your characters are, do not use the number one. If you do, then that's also going to tell the LLM that this is where your beats start. So that number one tells the LLM that this is where your beats will begin. Let's go ahead and remove that. If you feel the need to distinguish that, then just use an ABC method up here at the top for any additional information. Maybe you want to list characters, you want to list specific instructions. Just make sure that you're using an ABC method up at the top for keeping track of items. But whenever it comes to your beats, always indicate your first beat with a number one. Now notice how I don't have any of my other beats numbered, and that's okay because that one marker of stating that beat one is my number one beat will go ahead and take care of that for me. So now with the change, you can see here under the header that all of my header information shows up in my header and all of my beats are under my beats. So if you're having issues with multiple generations happening, or you seem to see it skipping around a lot or pulling in beats one through 15, all in the first stride, make sure you are checking your beats to see exactly what the LLM is identifying as a header and what it's identifying as beats. Thanks for watching this little short. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and like the page. Thank you.